Hey everyone, so this is going to be tutorial number three. Today I'm going to teach you how to do a zigzag pattern. Um, this zigzag pattern that I'm showing you right now is actually only using six strings, but the one we're going to do is using eight strings. So um, you're going to pick out four colors, any colors of your choice. You're going to do two strings of each color so four colors times two equals eight strings and we're going to do this zigzag pattern so it's going to be pretty nice this is a beginner pattern i'm going to start easy and we'll work my way up to the more difficult patterns like the mermaid and stuff like that and like, I'll teach you how to do love. Isn't that cute? I'm going to teach you how to do that and the starfish. And we'll do all kinds of stuff, you guys. So stay tuned. I am your, like, favorite art guru ever. I'm going to get into all kinds of other crafts and stuff, too. So it should be really fun. Okay, so get your eight strings out, four colors. All right, so I've got my, I'm, I chose for my colors, I've got brown, pink, medium blue, light blue, here, I'm going to move that down, light blue, medium blue, pink, and brown. Okay, so this is zigzag pattern. This is what we're going to do right here. Okay, so you can just follow along with me, write this pattern down, maybe I'll even put it in the description, so it'll be easier for you to follow. Yeah, that might be a good idea, huh? Yeah, I think I'll do that. Okay, so this is tutorial number three. Here we go. So, row number one. We're going to need four backward forward. So that means I'm going to take the left string. We're working in pairs. Okay, we're working in pairs. And on the even numbered rows, we're going to leave the two outer strings out. So remember, we're going to be doing this. Take them out, work with those. Pull them in, work with those. We're going to keep doing that. Okay, but row number one is an odd number. So the brown... I'm going to work with the brown. All right, so four, backward, forward. Backward coming from the right. And then forward, coming from the left. That's one. Backward. Make sure you can see my hands. Forward. Backward, forward. Backward, forward. All right, that's row number one. Now row number two is an even number row. So I'm going to leave the two brown strings out. I'm not going to work with those, and I'm going to work with these pairs instead. Okay, so row number two. I need three forward knots. So forward is coming from the left. One. Two. This is row number two. Three. Okay. Now we're going to go to row number three. So pull your brown strings or whatever colors you're working with, your outer strings, back in and repair them up. 
Okay, so now we need row number three. I need four forward knots for row number three. Forward coming from the left. One. Two. Three. And we need one more. Four. Okay. Now for row number four. Now this is where it's going to get tricky. You have to pay attention to how the strings are. Okay. Because it's not always going to be your brown... Like my brown isn't always going to be on the outer color. Right now, as you can tell, see, my outer strings are going to be blue right now for the next row, which is row number four. So row number four, we're going to do, we're going to leave the two blue strings out and we're going to do three forward knots with these three pairs. Forward coming from the left. One, two, three. Okay, okay row five. I'm going to bring the outer strings back in, pair them back up. I'm going to do four forward, backward. Forward coming from the left, backward going to the right. One, forward. Backward, two, forward, backward, three, forward, backward. Okay, row number six, leave your two outer strings, leave them out, repair your strings back up, okay, row number six, we need three backward. Backward coming from the right. One. Two backward. backward. Okay, now we're on row number seven, so we're going to bring our outer strings back in, repair them up, okay, row number seven, we need four backward forward. Backwards coming from the right and then not from the left for the forward. Backward forward. We need four of those. So that's one. Backward. Forward. Two. Backward. 
backward, forward, three. Backward, forward, four. Okay, row number eight. Leave your two outer strings out. Pair them back up again. Okay, row number eight. We need three forward. Forward coming from the left. One. Two, three. Okay, row number nine. Bring your outer strings back in. Repair them up again. Okay, row number nine. We need four forward knots. Uh oh, sometimes my strings get tangled. One, two. Three forward and four forward knots. That was row number nine. Next, we're on row number ten. Leave your two outer strings out again. Remember, all your strings on your even numbered rows, your two outer strings will always be left out. On the odd numbered rows, you'll pull them back in. We're working with pairs. Okay. Um, row number 10. Three forward knots. Forward coming from the left. One. Two, three. Okay, row number 11. Pull your outer strings back in. Repair them up. Okay, here we go. Row number... 11. We need four forward backward knots. Forward, backward. That's one. Forward, backward, two. Forward, backward, three, forward, backward, four. Okay, row number 12. Leave your two outer strings out again. Repair the rest back up. Okay, row number 12, we need three backward knots. Backward is coming from the right, so. One. Two. Three. Okay, row number 13. 
bring your outer strings back in pair the rest back up okay row number 13 we need four backward forward knots backward forward one backward forward two backward forward three backward forward four okay now we need row number 14 leave your two strings out pair them back up row 14 we are going to need three forward knots row 14 one two three okay row number 15 bring your outer strings back in repair them up again okay row number 15 we need four forward knots forward coming from the left one Two, three, four. Okay, row number sixteen. Now, for row 16, a different colored string. I don't know what colors you guys are using, but a different colored string is going to be left out this time. You'll notice by the way the strings are, how you're, like the way they are, how they're supposed to be knotted. You see, there's always going to be a little gap. So you can usually tell how your strings belong together. You, at first, it's kind of hard when you're a beginner, but once you get the hang of it, you'll get it. Every once in a while, though, if I'm watching TV or if I get distracted, I'll make a mistake or a boo-boo or whatever, and you'll have to, like, catch yourself before you get too far along. Otherwise, you could mess up the whole pattern. Okay, so row number 16, where you need three forward knots. One. Two, three. Okay, row 17. Need to pull the pink ones or my outer strings back in. Repair your other strings back up. Okay, here we go. So, row number 17. We need four forward backward knots forward backward forward backward forward backward forward backward all right row number 18 
Leave your two string, your outer strings left out. Pair them back up. Okay. Row 18, we need three backward knots. One. Two. Three. Okay, row number 19, pull your outer strings back in. Pair them back up again. Okay, row number 19, four, backward, forward. Backward coming from the right. Backward, forward. Backward, forward. Backward, forward. Backward, forward. All right, row number 20. Row 20, outer strings out. Recouple the other ones back up. Row number 20. Three forward knots. Forward is coming from the left. One. Two. Three. Okay, row 21, bring your outer strings back in, pair them back up again, okay, 21 we need four forward knots. Three. I'm kind of going fast because I figured by now you guys have gotten the hang of it. The tying of the knots anyways. Four. Okay, so now we're on row 22. 22, I'm going to be leaving the this different colored string. So you're, you're going to notice that you'll be, your outer string color will change. All right, so don't think you like messed up or something for like, oh no, why do I not have the same color string left out? Before you freak out, you didn't mess up. It's just the way it goes with this pattern. Okay, 23, or no, 22. 22, row number 22, because the two outer strings are out. So row number 22, we need three forward knots. Forward is coming from the left, so I'm tying with the left string over. Forward knot. We need three of them. That was two. And this is number three. Okay. Row number 23. Bring your outer color string back in. Repair them up. Okay, so row 23, we need 
four forward backward knots. Forward, backward. Forward, ah. backward. Forward, backward. Forward, backward. Okay, row number 24. And this is the last numbered row. So there's 24 rows total and you're just going to keep repeating over and over and over and over and over again until you have your pattern or the, and the desired length that you want. Okay. 24. Leave your two outer strings out and we need three backward knots. Backward is coming from the right. One, two, three. So there you go, you guys. That is the zigzag pattern using eight strings. So zigzag pattern using eight strings, four colors. Um, it's pretty cute. I like it a lot. You can use whatever colors you want. It's a pretty easy design. This is a beginner one. So I hope you had fun watching and hopefully making one along with me. And again, you guys are just going to keep repeating those rows. There is... 24 rows total and you'll just keep repeating it over and over and over again until you are all done with your desired length so stay tuned for more cool videos from me you guys i got a ton of cute little friendship bracelet tutorials coming up I'll teach you how to make a bird i'll teach you how to do all kinds of cute stuff so stay tuned. All right. Peace, love, and happiness.